Hi everyone. So in this video I want to do a little unboxing of the uh, pedal box that we supply with the kit. Um, and also like a little tutorial instruction on how to build it up. Um, so let's start. So in the box we have three master cylinders. And they're all three different sizes. So 0.75, which is the clutch master cylinder. Point 0.7, which goes on the rear circuit. And lastly, 0.625, which is the front circuit. They're all in imperial measurements, and that's the diameter of the bore. Also inside, balance bar arrangement, which you don't need this tube. That's already part of the brake pedal. Throttle pedal pad. That's not for the brakes. Pedal box itself. Like I say, you've got the tube for the balance bar already in the brake pedal. And some bolts for assembling the master cylinder. So the first thing we've got to do is put the balance bar in. So we can lose the piece of tube. You'll notice that it's got one short arm and one long arm. A long arm we will put to the throttle side because it's we'll use that to um you can put a uh, adjuster on it so that you can adjust it from the dashboard, which is not allowed on a kit car. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some copper slip on these threads to make it um, easy to thread it up and down and adjust and also as makes it a little bit easier to assemble. Uh, so I've had issues before because you need to be able to spin this with your fingers. And I'm also going to put some on the outside of this spherical bearing that's in the middle, just so it slides up and down in the tube nice and doesn't ever seize up. So just slide through into the tube. and then slide the clevis end back on. Now because we've got differential bore master cylinders, the static difference in brake bias between the front and rear is already set rough approximately by the bore size. So we're looking to have to set this up with the nominal um, position of the bearing being in the centre of this tube. Basically, if you move that bearing one way or the other, then the bias, brake bias moves um, to that circuit, so move it closer to the front. You get more um, front pressure, move it closer to the rear, you'll get more rear bias.
So the position that these clevises end up at need to be the same centres distance as the master cylinders. Like approximately. So that your actuating rods for the master cylinders are operating like square. You certainly don't want to ever over tighten these onto this tube because it will prevent the master cylinders, uh, the balance bar from pivoting. Then the next thing we can do is put the master cylinders in and connect them up. Now, they seem to be coming with these bands on them, which prevent them going into the holes. So I've been taking those off. So this is the 0.7, so this going on the rear circuit. Twiddling the master cylinder in till the lock nut bottoms out. Just to make it easier. And I will do the front at the same time, I think. So it can be a bit fiddly if you're just trying to get hold of the um, shaft and, and turn it into the clevis. And using the M8 bolts, just bolt them in. Let's take that out. That's the brake, uh, the brake master cylinders fitted. Next, all we've got to do is the clutch one. That's it assembled. I'm going to put this on later. I'm going to figure out where I want the throttle pad to be, which will probably require the driver to be in it. And there's a little throttle return spring in there as well, so I'm just going to keep that with it. And the last thing to do is just lock the lock nuts off on the master cylinder shaft. So there we go, finished assembled pedal box. It's quite a sweet little pedal box, fits in lots of different kit cars it's quite compact does everything that you want um, available if you're bu not building one of our kits or if you're building one of our kits but didn't get it in the um, deluxe starter kit you know because you're building it piece by piece or something 
uh, available from the website www.gtforte.co.uk um, suitable for use in things like Lotus 7 replicas, Cobras and whatnot uh, because it's small it'll fit in uh, any f footwells and uh, also finding that um, a lot of sim racing uh, people are using them fitting up some electronics and um, turning them into sim racing pedal boxes so thanks for watching uh, hope you like the video hope it brings some clarity to this stage of the build um, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and get notifications when I do other videos of a similar nature. Until then, thanks for watching.